your job is to make sure that you don't get blooded up too bad. Can't make any promises, of course. Rough game, Quidditch. Brutal, but no one's died in years. James and Oliver Phelps are British actors who gained worldwide fame thanks to their roles as Fred and George Weasley in the legendary Harry Potter franchise. Even though there are only a few scenes of them in the movies, the audience fell head over heels in love with the actors. In this video, we will tell you how the Phelps brothers' careers began and where the famous twins are now. James and Oliver Phelps – How the Weasley Twins from Harry Potter Live and Where They Are Now James and Oliver Phelps were born on February 25, 1986 in Sutton Coldfield near the British city of Birmingham. For Susan and Martin Phelps, the twins were their only children. Oliver was born 13 minutes before James. The brothers are so similar that only their mother could distinguish them in childhood. However, there is one surefire way to do it. Only Oliver has a mole on the right side of his neck. Sometime later, James also developed a distinguishing feature, a scar on his left eyebrow. Even though the twins look similar, they have different characters. James is more hardworking and serious, while Oliver is sociable and romantic. Even his nickname, Ollie, emphasizes his friendly character. The boys attended Little Sutton Primary School, then Arthur Terry Secondary School. However, to prevent the twins from fooling around during lessons and distracting other students, their parents sent them to different classes. During their school years, the brothers actively participated in theatrical productions, with Oliver showing more interest in ability and acting. In 2000, all British children were engrossed in fantasy stories about Harry Potter, and James was among the passionate fans of J.K. Rowling's books. One day, the twins' friends saw an ad for the casting in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in a newspaper and suggested the brothers try their hand at it, but they only laughed. However, when they came home, their mother showed them the same newspaper and said she would take them to the audition if they wanted to. The casting took place in Leeds, a city located 200 kilometers from Birmingham and also on Wednesday. So, this meant skipping school, which further motivated the 14-year-olds to take part in the audition. However, having arrived in Leeds, the brothers' courage diminished because hundreds of boys just like them were there to compete against them. In addition, most of them brought portfolios with them, unlike the Phelps twins, who had no acting experience. Embarrassed, James and Oliver had already decided to go home, but their father persuaded them to try anyway. Interestingly, all the other twins came to the audition in the same clothes except for the Phelps brothers, who had avoided it since childhood. But for the sake of the roles, James and Oliver had to run to the nearest store to get identical shirts. Even though the casting director immediately liked the boys, they still had to go through five more rounds of auditions. After that, the brothers were finally approved for the roles of George and Fred Weasley. Back at school, James and Oliver couldn't hide their joy, but none of their classmates believed them until one day they came to class with bright red hair. The brothers' natural hair color is brown, and for the role, they had to dye their hair. Funnily enough, at school, James constantly bullied his red-haired classmate and wondered why Kate Winslet had dyed her hair red for the role in Titanic. But after getting the role in Harry Potter, he started joking that it was time for payback. By the way, according to the script, the Weasleys were supposed to be not only red-haired but also pale-faced, so the Phelps mothers spent the whole summer vacation running after her sons with sunscreen so that they wouldn't tan. In 2001, the long-awaited premiere of the fantasy film Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone took place. Fred, you next! He's not Fred, I am! Honestly, woman, you call yourself our mother. Oh, I'm sorry, George. Initially, the audience thought that George and Fred Weasley were played by one actor with the help of CGI. It's funny that during the filming process, the twins conspired and switched roles for a while, which the crew didn't notice at first. Even though the swap wasn't too obvious, they decided to reshoot these scenes anyway. The film was a resounding success, and the young actors gained worldwide fame. The film was nominated for three Academy Awards and received many other awards and nominations. In the UK, Harry Potter set a box office record, and in the USA, it was recognized as the highest grossing film of the year. According to the worldwide theatrical box office receipts, the film came in second place in history with $975 million, second only to Titanic at the time. In 2002, the Phelps brothers starred in the second part of the franchise, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Okay, come on. Shh. Shh. Okay, come on. 
Interestingly enough, shortly before the film's release, Scooby-Doo premiered in cinemas, and the Wizarding World fans bought tickets en masse just to see the trailer of the second film about Harry Potter on the big screen. The following year, the premiere of the third film about the wizard Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban took place. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish, she says. That there is the secret to our success. It's a wrench giving it to you, believe me. But we've decided your needs are greater than ours. Which was nominated for an Oscar in two categories. Interestingly, initially, according to the script, the twins weren't supposed to say some of their lines in unison, but the director, hearing them do it in real life, decided to include it in the script. For Oliver, filming that movie was the most difficult because, on the screen, his character interacted with rats, which he really hates. In 2004, the twins starred in the next part of the franchise, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which, by the way, became a favorite of the series for both brothers. In the same year, James and Oliver graduated from school, having successfully passed their final exams. Since filming took a lot of their time, the young actors didn't attend school in person but studied remotely. It's worth noting that during the study scenes at Hogwarts, the child actors did their real schoolwork to make the scene more realistic. In 2007, the brothers appeared in the next film about Harry Potter, The Order of the Phoenix. You know, George, I've always felt our futures lay outside the world of academic achievement. Fred? thinking exactly the same thing. Compared to other parts of the franchise, it took more time to shoot this film. In the summer of 2006, the actors for Harry and Hermione, Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson, were starting their final exams at school. This break cost Warner Bros. $4.8 million. In 2008, James and Oliver played cameo roles in the third season of the drama series Kingdom. And in 2009, they appeared in the documentary short A Mind's Eye, as well as in the sixth film, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. How much for this? Five galleons. How much for me? Five, Five galleons. galleons. I'm your brother. Ten, Ten galleons. In addition to their roles as the Weasley twins in Harry Potter, James Phelps also worked as a junior assistant to the film crew. That is, he was an errand boy who carried out small tasks for the director and other crew. And in his spare time away from filming, James got a job at a travel agency while his brother Oliver worked at a recruiting firm. The Phelps made this decision to gain experience outside of the film industry. In 2010, the twins starred in the next part of the franchise, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Fair warning. It tastes like goblin piss. I have lots of experiences with that, dear Maddo. Just trying to defuse the tension. In the same year, the short film Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey was released. In the following year, they appeared in the final film, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. You okay, Freddy? Yeah. Me too. Which commercially became the most successful one of the series, collecting $1.3 billion. The film took first place in the list of the highest grossing films of 2011, as well as the 13th place in the ranking of the highest grossing films of all time. The fans loved the movie, and it got pleasant reviews from critics and was nominated for three Oscar categories. Filming in the final part of the franchise was the most difficult for the brothers emotionally because Fred Weasley, played by James, dies in it. The actor himself says he felt bad for his character, however, in that scene, he didn't experience much difficulties, unlike Oliver playing George Weasley, who had to go through the death of his brother on screen. After the premiere of the final part, the brothers along with other actors went on a tour around the world and also voiced in video games about the famous wizard. In an interview, James admitted that he would like to take a magic wand as a keepsake, but it became a mandatory attribute of the promotional tour, so he could only keep some of Gringotts' banknotes from all the props. In the same year 2011, Oliver was approved for a role in the film Young Picasso, but so far, the movie hasn't been released yet. In 2012, James played Nurse Jimmy in the horror film Ward 3, and in the following year he appeared in the dramatic short film The Turn, while his brother Oliver starred in the short film Ears. In 2014, another work about Harry Potter was released, the short film Hogwarts Express. It was filmed to promote the train ride at the Universal Amusement Park in Florida. The twins also visited the Harry Potter Festival in Orlando, where they answered fans' questions about the film. By the way, James and Oliver still continue to promote the magical world created by J.K. Rowling and happily participate in almost every event related to the famous franchise. In 2015, the Phelps brothers appeared in the drama Danny and the Human Zoo, a fictional story about the teenage years of actor Lenny Henry. By the way, the actors had previously met on the set of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, in which Henry voiced the shrunken head. 
At the same time, James starred in the detective series Silent Witness and the comedy horror film Patchwork. The brothers are happy to talk about their creative activities but prefer to keep the details of their personal life a secret. It is known that in their youth, Oliver dated British actress Heather Hollingworth and James dated American producer Simone Burke. In 2015, Oliver married Katie Humpage, whom he had been dating for seven years. A private ceremony was held on July 4 at St. Mary's Church in Deerhurst. A year later, the couple had a daughter whose name wasn't disclosed. In 2016, James also tied the knot with Annika Osley, whom he had met five years earlier. The wedding ceremony was also private, although the actor shared the good news on the radio. The couple doesn't have any children yet. According to some reports, the brothers have signed contracts with various companies that provide for restrictions on publications about their personal lives. It is known that James and Oliver are very close and share common hobbies. For example, both enjoy playing computer games, listening to rock music, and going to festivals and concerts. By the way, James plays the guitar quite well. The brothers also like sports. They often attend soccer matches, although they support different teams. Oliver, like his grandfather, supports Aston Villa, but James and their father support Birmingham City. The actors also play soccer themselves. In 2006, they even participated in a celebrity tournament. The twins also play golf quite well. During the filming of Harry Potter, they were contractually forbidden to engage in any dangerous sports, so they decided to try their hand at this aristocratic activity. Oliver is so passionate about the game that he has even thought about becoming a professional golfer. However, in 2017, he got into a serious accident, which is why he didn't practice for four months. Traveling is another common hobby of the twins. While Oliver was on sick leave, James visited the countries of Southeast Asia. The actor is also an active member of the Three Peaks project, in which amateur climbers conquer three peaks in one day. The brothers already have a lot of interesting stories about traveling to different countries, which they are happy to share in a joint podcast on YouTube, the first season of which appeared in 2017. By the way, during that period, the Phelps twins also tried to launch a TV show about traveling. In it, they would go to a city and show it to the viewers from two sides, through the eyes of a wealthy tourist and a traveler with a limited budget. In 2019, the brothers returned to cinema playing the roles of Dr. Matthews and Captain Williams in the biographical 45-minute film Seven Days, the story of blind David Healy. In the same year, James starred in the fantastic film Cadia, The World Within. In 2020, the second season of the podcast was released, in which the twins interviewed guest celebrities. And next year, the third season came out, which was called Normal, Not Normal, in which the celebrities discussed current topics and talked about what is normal and what is not. In 2021, James and Oliver starred in the thriller Last Night in Soho. And are we meeting a gentleman this evening? We are not. Oh, so Madame is alone? I am. Very good. And in the summer of 2022, the premiere of the travel show Fantastic Friends took place, in which the brothers were not just the hosts, but also producers. In each episode, the Phelps twins traveled to different countries to have fun and exciting times with friends. Shortly, the actors will delight their fans with several more films that are currently in production. The twins will appear together in the drama Own Worst Enemy, and James will also star in the short film Bloody Fury and the action movie Brigantia. Interestingly, for many years, James has been dreaming of playing the bad guy in James Bond or Agent 007 himself. Nowadays, the brothers' fortune is estimated at $1 million each, and only in the last year they earned $100,000. The Phelps sources of income are payouts for films and shows, running a YouTube channel and social networks, as well as advertising contracts. For example, the twins appeared in a memorable advertisement for the BBC Music app. In their regular life, the actors are open and easy to communicate with. They spend the money they earn on traveling. It is known that James and his wife live in London, while Oliver prefers to spend more time in Birmingham. The brothers are also engaged in charity, having created several organizations. For example, the Harry Mosley Fund, whose funds were used to treat Harry's brain tumor. Unfortunately, it was not possible to save the child. They also created a Help Harry Help Others campaign, for which they raised money by performing at various events and selling bracelets, which helped earn more than $100,000. In addition, the twins support the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. In 2022, after Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Oliver Phelps supported Ukraine. The actor purchased a t-shirt created by Ukrainian boxer Alexander Yusik, hands off Ukraine, and urged his subscribers to join. The profit from the sales will be donated to the affected Ukrainians. For 10 years of their career, the Phelps brothers were involved in the filming of Harry Potter and appeared in all parts of the project.
And which movie in the famous franchise did you like the most? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.